So today we are going to create our own brand. I had this idea with ChatGPT. It's very important when you're using ChatGPT to prompt correctly. So I wanted to know what ChatGPT would need in order to give me a brand voice, give me information about a brand, and also create social media posts for a brand. So basically it gave me all the things that someone would need to input to create brand voice and so forth. So we have a form that we're going to fill in for our new brand. What is a brand today? Anyone? Daretable? Daretable. Let's do Daretable. Okay, I'm going to put this over here because it's super hard to type at the same time. Am I actually going to laugh enough? Probably not. I push on hard, yeah. Okay, so the name of the brand is Daretable. And the industry is conferencing, or are we going to make up something totally cool? Uh, therapy. Therapy. <laughs> okay. And who are the current competitors of Daretable? Uh, better help, I guess. Better help. Better help. <laughs> A top therapy. Okay. Who are potential customers for this brand? Daretable users. Daretable users. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and IT people. Software developers. Software developers. And I can't type either. Uh, okay, what are the brand values of Daretable, Chris? Uh, community, education, and authenticity. And what is the unique value proposition for Daretable? It's cheap, and I work my butt off. <laughs> 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 no, no, you don't have to pay that part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the year established was 2020? Yep, 2020. Uh, type. All right, the founder owner is Chris Nancy. And products or services? Uh, conference. That's it, conference. And pricing, I don't think I have dirt cheap on here, but... Uh, yeah, uh, value-driven, value definitely. <laughs> Languages? Uh, English and Spanish and French. Style of communication. Informal, authentic, and authentic, authentic, authentic. Informal. Informal. And authentic. Personality traits. What does that mean? <laughs> like what are the? If it were a brand. Yeah. Bold. Recklessly honest. <laughs> uh, a bit scared. <laughs> and friendly. And friendly. I'm speaking for my own insecurities here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to this. This is therapy. This. So this is just a very basic MVP. Um, and I wanted to show you the back end more than I wanted to show you anything else. So basically, what I, I use is Airtable. We use a hook in Airtable, so it sends automatically. So if I look at the underlying database, you'll see that Airtable is already in here. Um, and then it should be running this um, brand identity for us as well. And of course, when you demo live, it never runs live. Um, so, but what we're doing behind the scenes is we're saying, okay, not only are we just sending a prompt to chat GPT, when you're using Vapier, you can actually give it the assistant instruction. So there's somebody I watched on Instagram who talks about like agent chat GPT, right? So you're giving this identity to chat GPT to tell them how you want them to respond to you. I don't want the computer, like when I'm just typing into chat GPT online, to give me information. I want to be like, okay, this is a personality that you have. This is the type of person, type of um, ownership that you have of the information that you're giving me. So as we're building in Zapier, we're actually able to not only give in those those values of potential customers, current competitors, and so forth. We're also able to like have the assistant name. So it's now Brand Combinator is the name of my my agent. <laughs> And I give it instructions. You're a world-class branding and marketing agent. You're helping B2B organizations set the world on fire with their digital content. So you're trying to fire up ChatGPT as you're building it. So it's giving all that information. I wanted to do a competitor analysis. I wanted to give me a content strategy. And I wanted to give me a brand voice. I asked it, how can I do a, a competitor analysis? How can I do a strategy? What does it need? That's why we have all those questions ahead of time. So hopefully it's running. Okay. Not running. I broke it this morning. Um, as I always do. Let me see. But basically, it will give me that information. So we're just going to live test it. All right. And I'm 
sure everyone showed you, um, sometimes you want to send the packages of the entire record from um, Airtable into Zapier, and then here we're just saying, okay, here's a record that we're triggering off of, go back and get all that information, because there's a ton of information. So if we run this target audience, and um, what happened? Ah, it broke. Okay. But anyway, that's what I was doing. Um, I broke it this morning because I didn't want to wait for it to um, um, zap your polling is like 15 minutes. Anyway, but I thought it was cool that you could ask ChatGPT what it needs in order to generate the output that you want. Do you have an example record in your base you can show us? I do. So my niece came over and we were doing Rex's treats. My cat, one of my tuxedo cats, his name is Rex. And so his industry is pet supplies and treats. Um, current competitors were Science Diet, Purina. Potential customers were pet parents. Um, brand values, good healthy treats at a premium price. Um, it's Rex tested and approved. Um, and the founders are owners of me and my cat. And then what their products and services were, it was premium pricing, English, style of communication was fun and sporty, and personality traits was funny cat. And so it gave me the target audience, and it told me, I said, you know, pet parent to the target audience, and it said, it said, health conscious and affluent pet owners who treat their pets as a member of their family. So it went into detail off of just the basic information that I gave them. So it also said, like, here's your brand voice. You know, based on what you've given me, you know, you should be friendly, playful, energetic, informative, authentic. And then it also did a competitive analysis of those different brands that I put in there. So it did Science Diet, Purina, Blue Buffalo, and Greenie. So it gave me a little bit of a blur for each one. It told me the SWAT, which is the strength of the competitors, and then also the opportunities. It didn't do a full SWAT. Um, but then it gave me, like, what the content strategy should look like for this new brand. Then from there, I said, okay, I also want, if I was starting up a new brand from scratch, I also want a, what, what, a, what, what, <laughs> what a website should have. You can see I, it spun out. Um, but basically, like here's what the landing page should include, because I pushed all that information from the original um, prompting into it, and then it said, okay, somewhere. Uh, here's like what the website should look like. Headline, Rex's Street, subheadline, hero shot, USP, benefits, social proof, and a call to action. So it's telling me what that website should look like. If I wanted to, I could push it back through and have me do it. It also gave me some LinkedIn post topics, and it also <laughs> gave me like 10 example posts and what those Amazing. visuals should look like. So. Yeah. If, if anyone hasn't used ChatGPT, a lot of people are like, write this email for me. I was like, this is what it's doing. Exactly. And th like you said, it's all about that prompting. You are this, you talk like that. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Jen. That's amazing. A bit of open AI magic with Google Docs. A bit of open.